forward. All right, so this um, training is focusing on transition months and customer service, which are both things that's all over important to hit on this week. Um, so first off, what is a transition month? Because we have a lot of new people right now and a transition month is the month before a new catalog. So we will have a new catalog season starting in August. So right now, we are in the next to last month of our current catalog. So July will be the month where we will start preparing. And there's a lot on our end that we have to do as business owners to prepare for that as well. So there will be a list that will come out um, right around July 1st. They might give it just a little bit early, but probably around July 1st. That will tell us all of the discontinuing scents and products. So anything that will not be in the fall and winter catalog. If there is a scent that is on that list, that does not mean that it will not come back next spring and summer, but we're never guaranteed. Like Honeymoon Hideaway was one of my favorite spring summer scents, and I thought for sure it would be back this spring summer, and it's not. So I'm kicking myself for not adding that to my Scentsy Club. So um, Scentsy Club needs to be a big, big, big point of marketing and conversation with your customers um, during the month of July, because anything that they're crazy about that they really want to keep getting year round, um, like if they love squeeze the day, that's not going to be something you'll see in the fall winter catalog. Um, watch them put it in there now that I said that, but <laughs> if there's something that you have a customer that they're crazy about, they order it all the time, uh, talk to them about Scentsy Club. That is automatic PRV every month for you or every two months, whatever schedule they sign up for. Uh, so that is a great thing to have in place. It's a great tool Scentsy gives us. On July 1st or somewhere around there, they might wait until SFR, um, which is virtual this year, but um, around that time, they will start giving us peaks at the new catalog. We'll eventually get a full PDF of the new catalog and we'll be able to order in July, we'll be able to order new catalogs and business materials. So um, typically during a transition month, we have a sale. So typically during transition month, we have 10% off everything in the catalog of the licensed products. Since he is not doing that this July and I'm thankful for that because that sale during a transition month is typically for the for the purpose of clearing out product that we need cleared out before new catalog and um, boosting sales during a month where a lot of times people are going to be waiting on that new catalog to come out. Um, they might want to wait on those fall winter scents before they purchase. So that's usually a better incentive. But right now sales are so high, the trajectory continues to increase. And with the back ordered and sold out products we have right now, like we, we don't need help clearing stuff out right now. We're doing pretty good on our own. So I'm thankful that they did not do that for this July. So it'll be a regular month, no sales, um, but you will get that discontinued list. So um, that'll be something you'll really want to market. Um, so what we do, I'm going to talk about some of the things we do, some things we don't do during a transition month. So what we do get those catalogs out into hands. So don't leave any of your business materials wasted. So if you have samples of scents that are on that discontinuing list, if you've got some squeeze the day samples or some Tropic Tango samples, get those out to customers during the month of July. You do not want to sit on those. I have some samples in my closet right now of like Cozy Fireside and Autumn Hearth and things in the fall that I didn't get around to getting them to customers and now they're not really available. And obviously we're not gonna give samples to our customers of things they can't purchase. Um, so you, got, you wanna do your very, very best to get those out into hands. I would, I would not bulk sample products that you don't think will still be there. So if you're wanting to bulk sample fragrance mist, um, Luna would be a, a, a good one to go with. That is one of our staple scents. It's, it's usually around um, year round. So um, things like that, it, you would be pretty good with continuing to bulk sample. Um, washer whiffs, if you wanted to bulk sample 
aloe water and cucumber. Um, that would be a pretty safe one. So you can talk with your sponsor or your director um, about your samples when you're deciding what you want a bulk sample. Um, but I just be careful with that. Um, personally, I'm not planning on ordering any new catalogs until the new catalog season. Um, if I run out of product lists or showcase brochures, I will reorder those, but I shouldn't. I'm pretty stocked on those. Um, but as far as new catalogs, I don't ever want to be stuck stuck with catalogs that are not current um, because those do cost us more than the product lists or the showcase brochures and I'm very mindful about where I put my money in my business as we all should be so um, get the catalogs and samples out don't leave business materials wasted um, advertise those discontinuing products that's another thing we do want to do during July uh, Scentsy Club for discontinuing fragrances Warmers that are discontinuing will go on clearance later in the fall if there's any left. Advertise those warmers heavily. You want to sell them. With the way rate things have been selling out, I don't know that there's gonna be a lot of carryover to the clearance section for the fall. I don't know what we're gonna clearance, but um, I would show off those warmers that are gonna be gone because people are more likely to purchase if they know that after this month they can't get it. So let's say the diamond weave warmer is going away. Um, that is a total, like just a random warmer I thought of. So don't, but don't quote me on that. But let's say that warmer is going away. Post pictures of it and talk about how much you like it, where it would look good, um, that it's a bright warmer and that it won't be available anymore. Um, talk it up to your customers, show them how to bundle and save with that warmer. Um, when you are preparing for the new season, here are some good things you're going to want to do. This is a good time. July is going to be a good time to sit down and look at your marketing materials and see if there's anything you want to update. Um, your address labels, the labels that you put on your bars, um, which you should be doing. Uh, any of your branding materials, sit down and look and say, okay, do I want to continue using these for the fall or do I want to make something new? Because sometimes I change my stuff up for the fall. Um, last fall, I was using a family picture of us as a pumpkin patch that went on my bars that said, uh, running low, let me know, and had my phone number. Um, right now, I am using a different label because I didn't want something that looked like fall on my spring and summer bars. Um, you're going to want to order new business supplies. So during July, take a look at your customer bags, um, things that you use to package orders with. Um, Take a look at your, like I put ribbon on my orders. I will probably sit down in July and look at, do I have colors that I wanna do for fall orders? So little things like that. July is gonna be a good month to sit down and kind of reevaluate what you have, what you need, what you might wanna change. Um, we're, you're gonna to wanna to make new samples ASAP and create new join packets ASAP. Um, promotional materials ASAP. So as soon as they make these things available to us, they will make new product kits available to us. And I'll talk about that in just a second. But um, as soon as they make those things available to us and we're able to get our hands on some of that wax, the new scents, be ready. Like I usually have my little sample bags labeled, ready and labeled before my bars arrive. So that when my bars arrive, I am getting those samples done because you want to be able to give your customers that exclusive sample experience as soon as possible, because they're gonna be excited about the new scents. They're gonna to wanna to try them. Um, so you wanna be prepared for that. Um, creating new join packets. If you're creating join information for potential consultants, you're gonna to wanna to update it to make sure it includes, um, we'll get information on the new consultant kits because it does change with the catalog seasons. What's in that, um, if we, at SFR, they'll announce our new incentive for fall winter, and that's usually a big trip. So you'll probably wanna put that on your join information um, because everybody is, who doesn't wanna earn a free trip? So uh, that's something you'll wanna include. So you wanna update all of that kind of promotional material. Uh, you will want to order new transition tester sets. So let me talk about testers for a second. This is what I do. I usually order one full set of testers. So that's a tester of every scent that's gonna be in that fall winter catalog. And then I usually order 
two or three transition sets of testers because the fall is going to be your biggest, busiest, busiest, busiest season. And you're going to want to have a lot of bag parties ready, ready to go. Um, so those transition testers have anything that was not in the spring summer catalog. Um, sorry, I lost my spot. Um, so at the end of July, I will be going through my testers. I will take my full sets of testers. I'll go through and I will pick out any testers that will not be in that fall winter catalog. Um, take the ones that still will be, add the transition sets to that. Good to go. Done. Um, you want to start booking parties for August during the month of July. The fall will be your busiest season. Everybody will want to party in the fall. Fall parties are the best parties. They are the biggest parties. And fall is the best time for promotions. So prepare yourself if you are new for the best part of your business of the year. The fall is beautiful. Um, so you want to be ready for this new product time. You want to be ready for parties, ready for bag parties, ready for online parties, ready with your promotional materials or samples. Um, so July is going to be a big month of preparation for us. Um, and to me, that's very exciting. I like fresh. I love the first day of the month. I love a new catalog season. Um, I love starting fresh and having all this new stuff to show. Um, if you have the space and the ability to, I would schedule an open house event. This does not have to be something full blown. When I had my first open house, I had out whatever I had around the house. I, I put my own warmers on display. I got out all my testers. I printed off the bundle and save options. I put out a couple catalogs and order forms and I got some donuts from Duck and Donuts. That's it. Um, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate and you don't even have to serve food if you don't want to, but, um, getting those testers under people's noses is going to be the key. You want people smelling those. Um, and because a lot of times people don't want to party or they think they don't want to party and then they come to an open house and they smell the testers and they kind of see like, this is kind of like what a home party would be like. Or if I packed this all up and took it with me, that's kind of like what a bag party would be like. And all of a sudden they decide that they want to have a party. Um, so you want to, if you can do an open house, do one. That's always been something we've done as a family and our customers love it. You get to meet with people face to face that maybe have never even seen you face to face. They've just ordered from you. Um, so we, we love doing that. And if you have an open house and you don't have many attendees, don't be discouraged. Um, I have, they're hit or miss. I've had some that I've had tons and tons and tons of people show up. And then I've had none that had, I've had some that had very few people come and that's totally fine. Um, that's why you want to kind of keep it like low pressure. Don't go all out. Don't go buy a four course meal to serve your attendees. Uh, because then if you don't have many people show up, you're going to be very discouraged. But um, I can do a training about open houses if you guys would like that when we get closer to that time because um, that is something that I love and I'm passionate about. It's a great way to connect with your customers, um, to build relationships, to, to get those products under their, uh, yeah, right in front of them so they can see them, experience them, smell the testers, sit around and talk with other customers who um, they, they get to meet. Like you have customers who meet each other and they're talking about scents like, it's great. It's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. Um, so new product kits, that is something that Scentsy is going to open up for us. Those of you who registered for the early bird SFR, you were able to purchase a new product kit ahead of time. Um, and those will be shipping out in August, I believe. Um, but these new product kits are great for open houses because you get to have out the brand new products. Um, when I did my open house with this past new season. I, I had a mini fan out. Nobody's ever seen a mini fan before. They just been released. They were brand new in the catalog. And a lot of times I do my um, open houses on the day of the new catalog launch. So it's like first day of the month, we're here, here's all this new stuff. And yes, you can order it right now. So people are excited. They want to order that new stuff to so let them see it. Um, those new product kits, they will have one that's for scents. So it'll have one bar of each of the brand new scents. Like this month, this year we had, um, this catalog season, we had 10, 
10 to 12 that were brand new scents. Um, and that's how it is each catalog season. And that scent kit for the new catalog will have one bar of each. There's usually a home kit that you can purchase that'll have a few of the new warmers, a mini warmer, um, maybe a wall fan diffuser if we get a new pattern in one or something. Um, the deluxe diffuser this past catalog season was in that home kit. Um, there was a cleaning and body kit this past catalog season and a pets kit to get pet products. Um, so you'll be able to pick and choose which kits that you want to get. Um, you'll be able to show them off to your customers. You can use them for booking incentives. So you could raffle one off at your open house or you could um, use it as a hostess gift. Uh, it, those product kits are tax write-offs. So that's a plus. And it, you can create samples early. So when you get the, if you get the scent kit, you can use that to sell like at your open house, or you can use those bars to create samples with. It's just kind of whatever you're looking to do with your business materials. So now what not to do. This is important. What not to do is almost more important than what to do. Don't advertise products too soon. When Scentsy releases, these new products to us, we do not want to kill our own sales and kill other people's sales. So just like with Scent and Warmer of the Month, how we talk about, we normally will kind of show that the last week of the month or close to that. Um, I've done a little earlier sometimes, but generally it's around the last week of the month. Um, kind of want to do the same thing with the new catalog. You might tease your customers, um, like maybe post like a little tiny like corner of a picture or tell them that you just saw the new catalog and there is some stuff they're going to love and they want to get on your party calendar. Um, but don't start showing pictures of those actual products until later in the month. You don't want to hurt your July sales. You don't want to hurt other people's July sales. And um, you want to kind of use that as an incentive to get people to book. The other thing you do not want to do, don't wait until August to start preparing for this new catalog season. Um, you will get busier. You're, you will get so busy in the fall of your business, which is excellent. We're, I'm so excited. Um, kids will be going back to school. So mamas, you will be busier. Um, if you work in schools, <laughs> you will be busier um, like me. And you, you don't want to be trying to like create all this promotional material right as it's all being released. Um, if they aren't buying the brand new products from you, they're going to buy them from someone else. Uh, there are a lot of consultants. We all know that. And we know we're successful because we are always up in our game. We are great at our customer service. I'm talking about us as a team. Um, we are always on it. We are always prepared, always up in our game with customer service. So you want to make sure that you're ready for the new catalog season because homegirl down the road might be ready too. And if you don't have testers ready for your customers to smell, they're going to find a consultant who does have them because they're going to be excited and you can't blame your customers for being excited. Um, so second half of this, we're going to talk a little bit about customer service because it's really important right now. I know there's a lot of frustration right now with these shipping delays. Um, we have to, have to, have to, have to remain positive about this. It is so hard. I know it's very hard. Um, but it, for me, it's hard to get upset about something when it's directly benefiting me. Um, the reason we're back ordered, the reason we're sold out, the reason shipping is slower, isn't primarily because of COVID. It's primarily because sales have been through the roof. Uh, Cincy has had the biggest spring we've ever had. Uh, April and May were huge, like absolutely huge. And for you guys who are brand new consultants, I, I hate that this has been I hate it and I love it that this has been your first taste of Sensi because you have experienced this massive success right away, but you've also experienced these difficulties that us seasoned consultants haven't had to experience until now. I have never, ever, ever seen this many products back ordered and sold out. Um, I'm two years into this and I've never seen anything like it. 
Um, so just know that this is not normal. This is temporary. This is a season and it is a good season. It is a great money making season. So try to remain positive. Uh, a great way to uh, market products with a, without avoiding with to, in order to avoid disappointment would be to, if you're doing a party, um, put a little asterisk note on everything that you post, like uh, things are selling out very quickly. So I, as I'm posting this, this warmer might be discontinued at this point in time. Here's the hostess's party link for information on what is available right now. Um, when I am posting things in my VIP page, I'm trying to just be very general about it. Like show, show the wall fan diffuser, show how it works. You don't have to talk about what scents we have available in the pods because right now we're back ordered on just about all the pods. I don't have to say that. I can show them the product and show them how it works. And then if somebody wants to order one, I can say, okay, so normally we have this, these scents available, um, but right now sales are crazy, but here's what we have. I would recommend this. They're already hooked. They're already seeing you use the products and they want it. They're not going to say, oh, never mind. You only have two choices of pods. I'm not going to buy one. They're not going to do that. I mean, they know we're human and we're doing the best we can. The workers of Cincy are human. They're doing the best they can. We're, we're going to make this work. Um, so samples of sold out products. Try to avoid that. Don't give customers. I have felt samples of hibiscus pineapple because it is my favorite scent. Right now we can't make it. And that's not even Cincy's fault. The oils that Cincy uses to create some of our bars even the companies those olds come from, the distributors, they are like way behind. It, just the whole market is exploding right now. So they can't make those bars. So I don't want to give customers a sample of that Be because if they say, hey, I love this, I, I can't sell it. Um, if a customer's already used it, that's one thing. I helped a customer the other day who wanted hibiscus pineapple and we found two, um, scents, Camu Camu and coconut cotton that we thought that we could mix together to create some very, very similar fragrance notes. Um, and she was excited about that. She was excited to try it and let me know what she thought because it was kind of like we worked together to figure that out. Um, so try not to give out those samples, but if you have to, if the only samples you have are something that we are sold out of, um, attach a note to it that tells them about other products that are available in that scent. Like, hey, you can't get hibiscus pineapple in wax right now, but we also have it in room sprays. Or you, you can't get jammy time in the washer whips, washer whips tub right now, but we have it in the smaller ones. We also have jammy time in this, this, and this. Um, you can send a voice message to your customers, make it personal, message them and tell them, hey, I saw you commenting on that warmer. Unfortunately, it's back order right now. Um, there are a few warmers that I think you would really like that are similar, um, or I can just get you on a wait list to order that when it comes back in stock. People are so understanding. Guys, the, the most riled up and unhappy people I have seen about the back order, the shipping and everything have been consultants. I know it's been consultants. I have not had one customer complain. Um, sure, they're disappointed that things are coming in late. Um, you can tell that they really, really, really want their stuff, but <sighs> everywhere is having this problem. I waited three weeks for a bathing suit to come in from American Eagle. I didn't think twice about it. The whole world is freaking crazy right now with COVID. Like, Everybody's understanding. Everybody's very understanding right now, which is I'm very grateful for. Um, <laughs> hey, Susanna, with voice messages, you can click keep underneath the message and it'll keep it there in your thread. Um, but yes, so you can um, Providing customer service to your customers is going to be what makes that way easier for them. Um, also with my um, customers who are ordering online and sometimes not even the ones who are ordering online, 
you want to spoil your customers. So I am so passionate about this. And I know I shared a training on our team page the other day from Stacey Beringer. She is a superstar director who has been in the game since the beginning of time, um, since the time that is. And um, she talked a lot about how she spoils her customers. And I do a lot of the same things. And I'm constantly trying to learn new ways to change or tweak or um, up my game in this area because this is so important. Your customers could buy from anybody. They choose you because they know, like, and trust you. Um, they choose you because you take care of them. You make them feel like the only customer. Um, I want every single one of my customers to feel like they are the lifeblood of my business because as a collective, my customers are. Like, my business is nothing without customers. I love you guys. You guys are my team. I love you guys so much, but if I don't have somebody to buy my products, like what, what are we gonna do guys? You have to take care of those customers. So when, keep your customers updated. As soon as I see that order has shipped and I pull up the tracking and it's got like an estimated date, I voice message everybody who's on that order and say, hey girl, I just saw that this order shipped. So yay, it's finally on its way. Thank you so much for being patient while you waited. Looks like it's gonna be here Thursday, so I will have it packaged and ready for you to pick up on Friday or whenever's most convenient for you. Like People love that. Like They love being updated. They love to know that you're watching out for them. You're taking care of them. Um, thank them for their order, no matter the amount. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I do. Um, so I have, this is a drawer out of one of those like tower things with drawers that I use for different stuff. But I have a whole drawer that's just dedicated to customer mail outs. So when I get an online order, I add it to a spreadsheet that lets me know what date they ordered, how much their subtotal was. And I have a spot to write down um, their order total. Thank when I sent them a thank you message when I sent them thank you mail and what I put in their thank you mail. Because when I follow up with them, I want to remember what I sent them and I, I, I won't remember. If I don't write it down, I won't remember. Um, so I send, right now I'm doing these scent circles. These are Pina Colada Cha Cha. I don't know if the camera was going to focus, but there's stickers on them. And I posted this on the team page, but it says your support makes me do the Cha Cha just corny and cute. So when I have a customer order, I take one of these scent circles, I lift this part up and I write them a message. I take a Sharpie and I write here and um, I try to make it personal. So I usually put their name here and then I'll write a message under here. And so I'll say like, I, I hope you enjoy that little garden warmer. Send me a picture of how you have styled it. Um, thank you so much for your support or thank you for supporting small. And then I do a heart in my initials. So this goes to any customer who has ordered online. Um, I use these bright, fun, colorful envelopes that these fit in really well. And uh, if right now our warmer in the month isn't available, so I can't do that, but I usually will put a warmer of the month brochure, this, and then like a product list or if I have created some kind of little um, printout that has information about things releasing that month, like I did one this month, I don't have any printed, I ran out of them, but about bring back my bar, I'll put those in there. Um, I have join flyers with QR codes to the YSMC video and QR codes to join um, my join link. Stamps, I keep them here. Um, and then I do these little sheets that are, I can't get one to come out. Um, these don't have stickers on them right now, but these are the scratch and sniff stickers that you put on here. These are all the new catalog scents. Um, I ran out of stickers and I'm not gonna order more, obviously, because we have a new catalog coming soon and I don't want to be wasteful with my products. Um, so I keep confetti in here, I've got colorful confetti, little gold confetti, pink glitter stars. Like I just collect this stuff as I see it on sale and keep it in here. I've got some business cards thrown in here for if I have a brand new customer. Um, if somebody orders like generally $80 or more, 
I spool the heck out of those customers. So yes, I treat customers like gold, no matter how much they ordered. But if somebody ordered that much, I have these um, colorful bubble mailers that have lemons on them. I actually need to reorder some um, bubble mailers because I only have about three left right now. But um, I will put, um, let's see, I have felt samples. I have some of these little Scentsy chapsticks that are from the consultant store backwards um, these are from the consultant store and then I have a whole bag in there that's full of samples so I have room spray samples Scentsy Fresh samples um, laundry samples um, Scentsy Soak samples so I will put things in there that I either know that customer hasn't tried before or if they're a brand new customer I just kind of put an assortment um, I have these little bags of gummy bears these ship really well because they won't melt um, which is something we obviously have to worry about here in the South. Um, and I'm already preparing for July. So I have, if you watch Stacey Beringer's training video she did, um, I'm going off of, I'm inspired by her. So I got these um, red, white, and blue paper straws and colorful red, white, and blue confetti. And I'm going to do these. I'm going to get the little shaker packets that you put in a bottle of water of lemonade. Um, that's what the straw is for. I'm going to tie it to that with red ribbon. Um, and then I'm still kind of looking for something fun that I could put with this. I'll probably make felt samples of some wax that's red. Maybe do a mixer with a red and a blue wax. Um, something fun. That way it's changing it up because I do have customers who will place really big online orders every single month. And I don't want them to get the same Happy Meal every month. So I was inspired by Stacy's video and trying to get creative with July, but that is what I include in their orders, um, in their thank you mail. And when I get their thank you mail, I usually take a picture of it and I will then send that picture to them and make a voice message or type it out if I can't make a voice message and say, hey girl, thank you so much for your order. Or again, if I've already told them, thank you again, thank you so much for your order. Um, I just wanted to let you know to keep an eye on your mailbox. I'm sending you some happy mail with some goodies to try. Let me know when it gets there to you and let me know how you like your new, your, your products I sent you to try. Um, and that's going to be a segue for you to make even more sales because when you follow up with them, you can say, what did you think about the Scentsy Soap sample I sent you? Um, I don't usually try to pitch an order right then. Um, I ask them genuinely how they liked it. I talk to them about it. And then maybe a few days later, the next time I'm placing an order, I message them and say, hey girl, I'm putting in an order. Do you want me to get you a bag of that, a full bag of that Scentsy Soap to try? Um, maybe try a different scent. And the, I mean, it that will return, that will pay back your business over and over and over again. Um, so treat your customers like gold. Um, it will come back. I did not do thank you mail for the longest time. And once I started doing it, I really saw the return on that investment. Um, when your customers feel loved, when they feel appreciated, when they feel like there's a face behind the business, that it is, it is not walmart.com that they're ordering a two day shipping product from. It is a small family. It is a work at home mom. It is a teacher who is, packaging up these orders late at night, um, a nurse who is responding to them and telling them thank you on their bathroom break. Like when they know the person behind the business, they know your face, they're going to be understanding of issues that we have. They're going to be repeat customers. They're, they're going to fall in love with the products and they're going to fall in love with you. And that's the important part. Um, you are your brand with Scentsy. That, that's the big, that's the big part. That's why we have to have that authenticity piece of our business is that you are your brand. People are invested in you. Like my customers know a lot about me. Um, they will see things that they will send me a picture and say, I saw this and I thought of you. Um, I do the same thing with them. People that I had no idea who they even were until I started doing this business. Like it really, it really is huge. Like it, it's, this business is, is, is a blessing. It really is. I have made connections. I've gotten out of my comfort zone. I have seen you guys get out of your comfort zones. Even those of you who are brand new, like I've seen you do things that when you signed up, you were like, I can never go live. I can never do that. Um, it's given us the confidence that we need to, to run our businesses and 
for life. Um, but so that is my two cents with um, your customers. So find your thing for customer service. It doesn't have to be what I do. It doesn't have to be what Stacey Behringer did. Um, we provide bulbs to our customers when there's a burnout. Um, we switch out bars if they don't like a scent. If I have a customer who's like, I can't, I just can't do this better pecan scent. I'm like, girl, bring it over here. I'll switch it out. I send them a picture of what I have in stock. I don't set, make a separate order. Um, I just say, here's what I've got. I know you like fruity scents. I have this. Do you want to try that instead? And I switch it out for them. That's not something you have to do. You do what your budget allows and you do what you're okay with. But you have to find your niche. You have to find what makes you you and what makes your business um, based around your customers, what you do for your customers. Um, when it, whatever um, you find that works for you, stick with that. Uh, it brings them back to you over and over again versus another consultant. It shows them they're important. You're sh also showing potential consultants because every customer is a potential consultant. You are showing potential consultants how we treat customers. You are showing your customers, this is what we do at Sensi. This is our culture. We say thank you. We say thank you. We give samples. We love people. We take care of our people. And that's going to be what brings a lot of them to your business uh, to join you down the road. You might have a customer that a year from now is like, you know what? Like, I'm tired of buying from you. I'm ready to do this. And that's because of what you have invested in them. So customer service goes a long way, especially in times like right now where our customers are having to be very patient. That customer service that I have built up for years with my customers, it's made all the difference. They know I'm taking care of them. Most of them don't even ask, like, when is that order going to be in? Because they know I'm going to message them as soon as I have a tracking number. They know that's going to happen. Um, trying to check the questions really quick. Let's see. Yay, Leslie, you said you got the lemonade packets and sunscreen packets like she did. Yes, I, I really, really liked what she did with her mail. Um, and guys, you can train yourself from any of these leaders. Like there's some awesome Sensi leaders out there. You just go on YouTube and I've posted, um, I've made posts on our team page of different leaders that I like to follow on YouTube. I can message you that list if you would like it. Um, there are a lot of leaders on YouTube who talk about the things they do for their customer mail and I get lots of ideas from them and then I branch my own ideas off of them and that's how you do it. You watch people who are successful and do what successful people do. That's how I've gotten to where I am. I listen when successful people talk and I do what successful people do. And that's all you have to do. Um, Awesome. So I am excited to see that you guys are doing fun things in your happy mail. This makes me happy. Um, but so keep taking care of those customers guys and let's get ready. July is going to be a fun month because we're going to be preparing for the new catalog season. Um, don't forget that the child, the baby Yoda buddy releases this Thursday. Um, I would be ready for a sellout. If you have customers that are wanting it, be ready to order for them. Take care of those customers. Um, I'm excited. I'm like dying for mine to get here. They shipped today, but I don't have a tracking number yet, but, um, I can't wait to see it in person because he's adorable. He's so adorable. Um, but thank you guys for hopping on. I'm going to post, um, this on the team page. So if you have downline who were not on this training, when we post the recording, um, just tag them in it so that they'll be able to see it because this if you have a new downline, this is going to be their first transition from one catalog season to another. So you want to make sure that they're getting this information, um, how to prepare and what, what to expect. Um, it's a very fun time, but you do have to do a little preparation for it. So thank you guys for hopping on. See y'all.